What, what, was, what was, apart from the talented footballers, how the fuck did a little fishing town of 200,000 people where it's windy and it's cold and the stadium is it's a bit not, rickety? It wasn't that cold. Winter time? No, it was okay. Compared to Fitessa, maybe. No, but I mean, it never was below zero from the only <laughs> thing. Because I, I, I remember when I signed there, because I, I, you play for Tenerife. This, Which was a little bit different. Yeah, but after two years, you've seen the island as well. Cause, no, but I mean, it's, you have to travel, you know, in that time. Ooh, we, brutal. For every away game, it was either to Barcelona or Madrid, and then connecting flights. Two flights, flights minimum two flights. Minimum two flights, but that's okay. And then, of course, if you, when we relegate, you want to stay in the highest league. And it was, I mean, within two weeks, I was already signed for Deportivo because I wanted to go. And yeah, they thought we have a young striker, scored quite a, some goals. Yeah, we can make some money out of it as well. And then they said to me, oh, good luck. I said, why good luck? It's, it's raining there from September to April. And then with my, our first year, I can't say with my family, the weather was okay. <laughs> But I mean, that's why that's, they say that's why it's also in that part of Spain. It's, it's the nature is it's nice. quite beautiful because with all because it's rain, so it's green everywhere. No, but I love that. I mean, the stadium next to the ocean, ah. next to the sea. I mean, if you walk the Playa de Riazor, because the away t- team was always in the in, in the hotel, the the, Meli- the Gran Melilla, Melilla. And, and you you could already see the stadium because you could walk. Yeah, it's like. I think walking was maybe even faster than with the bus towards the game. So, <laughs> no, but the way the stadium was situated, the pitch was always good. Yeah. No, I mean it was, and, if, and I mean, and we, and we were there four years. We won everything in four years. So, the, I mean, it was. I mean, that was the first year was incredible because then, in the moment you, you, you they, they see that you maybe be, can become, you win the league. Then yeah, for a lot of players because we had Donato, we had Fran, Mauro Silva. They were ninety. You with, have to name your roommate as well. I had a couple once. Because our last guest in this series oh, Victor. was Victor Sanchez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At yeah, that time, you had roommates. Now, nowadays, everybody has his own Yeah, room. much better. Yeah. No, no, but I mean, because I, when I heard, when I signed for Depo, of course, it's nice that you don't only stay in the league, but you, you're going to play UEFA Cup the first year. Because I think they ended fifth. Because, of course, I know all the Brazilians that play there, from Bebeto to Rivaldo. And then they said, I think they, they wanted to change a little bit the signing structure more. Also, Spanish players or People for, in or, La Liga. Or, for, or foreign players that played in, yeah. in La Liga. That's yeah. why they signed me. And at the last moment, uh, Jokanovic, he came, he came also from Tenerife. From Tenerife. So that's also, because I remember the day, uh, I think the day after we won the league or straight after the game, we looked at each other. Hey, last year and this time of year, we were relegated and now we are champion. You can't, I mean, you can't imagine that one. Slavisa was a nice player. No, so it, I mean, so Slavisa came and was a great player as well. Yeah. Nice guy. I mean, then we, and then Victor came from from Santander. So we had a couple once yeah, with. Who gave you of all the players around you in that era? Who gave you the best service? Oh no! I mean, I, I played. Falaron. Yeah, but Falaron came later. And, and the first it was Jalmi. The first year it was with Jalminia. I think I've I've said a lot of time. Falaron was maybe the best player I've ever played with. Seriously. Yeah, it's. I mean, and, and it's, you, know, you know him, but not everybody knows him. But the people who know him know why he, I he say felt, it. When I was up close with him. No, but they know why I, I mean. Oh, he, he, he felt like Zidane's size. And he felt like a Spanish Zidane because yeah. his vision, his technique, his movement, his, his sense of taking a risk. And I can, I can manage this. I can send you. Yeah, in. yeah, but he always, when the, when the midfielder defender thought he has the ball, he just touched it a little bit. But, and I think he enjoyed even more giving assists and scoring himself. Because sometimes we thought, just score. And then he gave a pass. And, but with Jalminia, man, there was a genius as well. But he was... <laughs> eh? People remember... No, but but for menta- he was completely... I mean, maybe in quality, him and Valoen can compare, but... Eh, from with per- Jalminia, you never quite knew no, what day was, it was. What, what was going to happen. No, because I remember... The, eh? Yeah, because he, he... But he was brilliant as well. I mean, with, when he did Madrid, the, the Rabona from the, behind the ball, everybody was, what the hell is he doing? No, but that was him. But he was also the guy that people now remember for headbutting. Yeah, right but time. I was, I mean, the story, he did it, but he didn't start it. What was it? No, but I mean, I, I was there on the pitch, so yeah. I don't want to go back into it, but everybody was on the pitch, know what happened on the pitch, so. Oh, yeah? But still, it was not good what he did, but. No. What was it? Knowing like? him as a player and some things happen on the pitch, you, I, still, eh? I, I said, it's, you cannot do it, but. That's you why can kind that, of understand. No, because that's why he, the week after he played again. I mean, he was on the bench, but he came in. One punishment forgiven. Yeah, because the, the captain said, no, no, no. 
I mean, you have to give him a, a punishment from the, uh, with a fine or something, but we want him to stay in the team. Irureta was famous in this country in the 70s for playing up in the Atletico Madrid yeah. side, which kicked the shit out of Celtic in the European Cup semi-final. No, I know, Maybe I, there I don't was know that. I know, I know he, was, he was an Atletico Madrid player and he was succe oh. as successful, successful as a player. Successful and hard. Victor said as a coach, he was clever, but the sessions were repetitive and boring. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we knew the whole week. Everything the same? Yeah. How did that work? No, but the thing, I think we had an uh, amazing team.